previous owner sold the company. We're owned by another family-owned company. They've been in business for a very long time, a multi-generational family-owned company. So okay. what we're really trying to do is pull the best from that company, from my experiences from the past, and what Wolf has here. Our values here are integrity, quality, excellence, uh, teamwork, and family. And we are really all about family. Here we really try to empower our managers. So it started with, I actually participated in our company's management retreat back in December. We gathered all of our key leaders to get together to set the company goals, where we're going to go for the future. We've continued to have really, really good communicators within the company that explain things well, expectations. We're continuously wanting to hear feedback from people on what they need and what they want from us. Um, we do have monthly suggestions and as a management team we do listen to those. We really try to encourage that culture of bringing ideas up and um, talking about it. Again, not just sitting in your seat doing your role. We want you to help make both better because then we're all going to move forward together. The people that they have here that are working hard and doing a good job, I've always felt that they have recognized and done everything to keep those and retain those employees. I make a, per, a personal note to know who every employee is. I'm very particular about that. I make sure I know their names <laughs> at these breakfasts. Yeah. I was the one that went up to every single one of them and knew every name and that's very important to me because okay. I want to be a resource for them. I would tell you that I treat my guys the way that I would want to be treated. I've always lived that way. I've lived with the golden rule that treat someone the way you want to be treated and, and the rest will take care of itself. And even our president has gone out to the crews and watches them, introduces himself. He wants to, he wants them to know who he is. I think if you can relate to that people that you work next to every day, they're going to care more kind of to my previous comment about wanting to show up and do more than just checking the box. And once you meet the guys that are working for you and the people you're working for and everything comes together and it's a friendly environment, you get a lot of work done and it's productive. I have a lot of people um, that are helping me at all times. Um, so I never feel like I'm alone and I never feel that I'm overwhelmed. Every year we try to do an event, like this year we went to um, a brewer game and rented out the Johnsonville deck, which I think that's also neat. I know they've done several things like that to kind of boost morale and have people come together outside of just a working environment, mm -hmm. which really appeals to me and I'm sure a lot of other people when it's something that you get to be with those same people and not have the workload on your shoulders at the time and get to just enjoy yourself and each other. We're here 40 plus hours a week. Okay. If you don't love who you work with and love where you're working, then you shouldn't be there. Yeah. And I would honestly tell you that the employees here love the people that they work with because we are really a family. Yeah.